good evening friends uh, a very warm welcome to all of you we are again back with our fb live session and today we have a very close friend and a leading physician and cardiologist at tulip hospital sonipat and secretary of the csi chapter haryana dr anurag arora with us i am dr sandeep diwan and today we will be discussing a topic which has actually become relevant in the past few months because we have heard a lot in the media about young people dying because of sudden cardiac death and today only we had the tragic news of mr raju shrivastava being no more who was admitted at aims and had a had a sudden cardiac death so he was revived but unfortunately today he is no more so dr anrag welcome uh, to the fb live you. session Thank you, sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Thank you for coming on our session, sir. I just wanted to ask few questions which are relevant for our, sir, physician colleagues as well as for the general community. Uh, if you can tell, ki, sir, what is exactly is sudden cardiac death or sudden cardiac arrest? See, sudden cardiac death has four issues. One, that has to be natural. Two, it has to be sudden. Sudden means the patient was already sick two hours back, one hours back. That means a घंटे के अंदर इतनी patient goes it is sudden. तो तो there are four components. One it is sudden. It is unexpected. You don't expect this patient to die. It is rapid, and the cause is cardiac. So the only four things which you need to cover sudden cardiac death is one it has to be rapid. मतलब it is to be fast. It has to be sudden. It has to be unexpected, and the cause has to be cardiac only. This is sudden cardiac death. Okay. तो सर जैसे हमने काफी न्यूज में सुना है कि यंग पेशेंट्स हैव डाइट कुछ लोग ट्रेडमिल करते करते पीपल हैव कोलैप्स्ड पीपल हैव कोलैप्स्ड वाइल वॉकिंग तो क्या रिस्क फैक्टर्स होते हैं सर सडन कार्डिक डेथ ऐसा क्यों हो जाता है जैसे यंग लोग हैं जो हेल्दी हैं जो इवन रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हैं नॉर्मली एक धारणा होती है कि अगर आप रेगुलर एक्सरसाइज कर रहे हैं तो आपको हार्ट डिजीज नहीं होगी ऐसा क्या रिस्क फैक्टर रहते हैं जो लोग इग्नोर कर जाते हैं सडन और ये सिचुएशन आ जाती है See, absolutely right. In fact, uh, the studies show that two thirds of the patients they have sudden cardiac death as the first event only. So it is the first event in their lives. Second, it hits only young patients who are relatively in the uh, middle age group, 35 to 50, for 35 to 40. That is the maximum age when when it hits. See, uh, regarding the risk factors, they remain the same for all cardiovascular disease. Those risk factors are one smoking, two diabetes. Three hypertension, obesity, sedentary lifestyle, done, and then uh, then uh, the other uh, factors being uh, which are non-modifiable. That means your hereditary, your genes, and your age. So we have modifiable factors which are smoking, stress, obesity, diabetes, control your blood pressure, and we have non-modifiable factor factors. See, it is more common in Punjabi community, the hereditary, and then uh, the uh, age. So these are the main seven factors which, uh, if, if you have these risk factors, you are high risk for have to have sudden cardiac death. So, taking a cue from your uh, uh, theory for risk factors, now when do you think? अ पेशेंट शुड सी अ डॉक्टर बिकॉज ये जो आपने को मोबिलिटीज बताई डॉक्टर अनुराग आई थिंक पोस्ट थर्टी फाइव मोर और लेस एवरीबडी वुड स्टार्ट हैविंग एनी वन ऑफ सो वॉट कैन वी डू टू 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 प्रिवेंट वी नो दैट लेट से आई एम श्योर लॉट ऑफ आर लोग कलीग्स आर इन दैट रिस्क फैक्टर एज तो क्या करें जिससे कि वो इस टाइप की सिचुएशन में ना पहुंचे the classical triad which we say uh, which is called as prodrome prodrome means ki aapko sudden cardiac death hone se pehle kuch na kuch hoga kuch na kuch aapko hoga so the triad of cardiovascular disease ya to aapko chalne pe saans chadta hai which we call as dyspnea on exertion ya breathlessness ya aapko chest pain hota hai ya aapko palpitation hota hai so these are the main symptoms jo heart se related hain jo which are which 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 are called as triad and which are called as prodrome so if you have these symptoms you must go to the doctor first and get yourself investigated that then uh, those patients 
देर इज अबसेट ऑफ पेशेंट्स जिनको पहले से ही पता है कि उनको सड़न कार्ड डेथ हो सकता है लाइक like जिसको पहले एम हुआ हुआ है दिस दो पेशेंट जिनको हार्ट का मसल कमजोर है जिनमें एल वी अच्छे नहीं है जिसको हम कार्डियोमायोपैथीज कहते हैं सो देर आर रिस्क फैक्टर्स जो जो पहले से ही कॉर्नी हार्टी डिजीज से सफर कर रहे हैं दे हैव रिलेटिवली मच हायर चांस ऑफ सडन कार्डियो डेथ लाइक पेशेंट हुए वेलेबल हार्ट डिजीजेस लाइक दोज पेशेंट हुए कार्डियोमायोपैथीज दोज पेशेंट ऑलरेडी हैव करेंट कार्डियो डेथ्स दोस्त पेशेंट का इंजेक्शन फ्रैक्शन कम है लोग कॉमन ले मैन पीपल नो कि भैया मेरा हार्ट कम काम कर रहा है तो जिनका हार्ट कम काम कर रहा है उनका इंजेक्शन फ्रैक्शन कम है उनको सडन कार्ड डेथ होने का चांस और ज्यादा है सो दे मस्ट सी डॉक्टर एज सुन एज पॉसिबल सो दैट दे कैन बी गिवन ड्रग्स टू प्रिवेंट इट fine uh, so that means a regular follow up with your doctor is extremely important for control of your risk factors am i right yes ab uh, aate hain iske symptomatology aapne thoda prodromal ke bare mein bataya ki chest pain uh, dyspnea on exertion uh, aur aise sweating hogi ya light headedness uh, uh, kya uh, kisi bhi aise symptom ko log jaldi sochte hain ki mujhe chest pain ho raha hai ye यू नो गैस हो सकती है हमारे पास आपको पता है कितने पेशेंट्स आते हैं यू नो मैं दो तीन तक एंटासिड खाता रहा नहीं ठीक हुआ फिर वो डॉक्टर के पास आते हैं आई एम श्योर आपके साथ भी ऐसे होते होंगे रोज सो व्हाट वुड यू सजेस्ट कि भाई क्या क्या डिफ्रेंशिएट आम आदमी कर पा सकता है कि क्या ये चेस्ट पेन गैस से है या हार्ट से है या उनको डॉक्टर के पास जाना ही चाहिए जाना ही चाहिए सी एनी पेन विच इज अब दस मतलब धुनी से ऊपर है और जॉ से नीचे विद और विदाउट रिडेशन टू आर्म इफ यू हैव रिस्क फैक्टर इज हाई चांस ऑफ इट बींग कॉर्नियाटी डिजीज हम कॉर्नियाटी डिजीज क्यों डिस्कस कर रहे हैं बिकॉज कॉर्नियाटी डिजीज जिसको हम आर्टरी में ब्लॉकेज कहते हैं दैट इज द मोस्ट कॉमन कॉज फॉर सडन कार्डियो डेथ इन फैक्ट इफ यू हैव कॉर्नियर डिजीज एंड द्लेक्स गेट रपच्चर्ड and the artery gets occluded so jo area of myocardium hai usme itne changes hote hain special electrodes ke uski wajah se arrhythmia hoke sudden cardiac death hota hai so if you can recognize the coronary disease patient ko hai to sudden cardiac death can be avoided one so bhagwan ne aisa mechanism banaya hai it bhagwan will give you a warning sala aapne ignore kara to aap phase that means you will have something you will have something aap usko gas keh lijiye you may take, may take it as in a positive way ki mere sirf acidity hai so any pain from umbilicus to jaw and if it is not relieved and you still feel you have a risk factor you must go to the doctor doctor also may even if the ecg first is normal see ecg will tell you only after attack ho chuka hai usse pehle we have a battery of test which can be done to show ki coronary disease hai ki nahi like a treadmill test like a ct angio like a heart test like a echocardiography which will tell you about the valvular diseases so we have a, pro, a lot of battery of investigation which are available to find out whether you have a heart disease or no and all types of heart diseases heart ke andar kya hai heart ke andar muscle hai muscle disease bhi ho sakta hai heart ke andar artery hai wo block hogi to bhi ho sakta hai heart ke andar conduction system hai uski abnormality se bhi sudden cardiac death ho sakti hai aur valve rukne se bhi ho death or for, for all these uh, things symptoms are important and diagnosis ke liye investigations are equally important so do not ignore the symptoms if your age is over 35 and if if you have another risk factor like smoking diabetes hypertension dyslipidemia sedentary habits obesity or a family history or uh, the age is in the uh, age group then you must go and uh, take it as coronary disease unless food otherwise take it as coronary disease so that means to summarize you are saying ki any chest pain you must show to your doctor and yes. let him take a call ki whether it's from heart or is from the gi system uh, rather right. than the community people deciding themselves dusra cheez jo hai ki chaliye humne sab prevention liye uske baad bhi agar kabhi sudden cardiac arrest hota hai ya aap near cardiac arrest situation mein aate hain aur aisa तो व्हाट कैन आप आप मानेंगे डॉक्टर इवन एक एक एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर या जूनियर डॉक्टर के भी बस में नहीं होता ऐसे पेशेंट्स को मैनेज करना इट इज नॉट इजी अगर आप कम्युनिटी में बैठे हैं छोटे क्लिनिक में बैठे हैं ठीक है तो कम्युनिटी वाले डॉक्टर्स के लिए या हमारे जनरल फिजिशियन फ्रेंड्स के लिए आप क्या सलाह देंगे अगर इस टाइप की सिचुएशन में वो आते हैं 
तो एमरजेंसी में वो क्या कर सकते हैं चाकि पेशेंट नियर अरेस्ट से कार्डेक अरेस्ट में ना जाए सी इसमें सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट चीज है अवेयरनेस एक्चुअली uh, में अब तो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इनफैक्ट यूएस वगैरह में तो बहुत सारे लोगों को ट्रेन कर दिया गया है पुलिसमैन को गार्ड को ड्राइवर्स को और इनफैक्ट जो मॉल में काम कर रहे हैं दे हैव बीन ट्रेन्ड फॉर टू रिवाइव द पेशेंट्स ऑफ कार्ड एकस्ट सो दी मैनेजमेंट डिपेंड्स अराउंड फाइव थिंग्स वन इज टू आइडेंटिफाई इसको अभी अरेस्ट हुआ है that is you then that is that is that is the initial response second is shout for help go and dial the emergency suppose you see a patient jo abhi collapse aapke samne kar raha hai the first thing is make sure ki sab sab kuch safe hai the scene is safe then you inform uh, uh, the ambulance ki yahan pe then after him, uh, informing the ambulance then comes the role of bls so you have been training people in bls and uh, advanced cardiac life support so you must everybody every person every citizen of india should be trained in bls and uh, you are already taking initiative of training person training non medical people in bls bls is basic a basic life support system in which we have guidelines how to revive a patient how to give cpr to a patient then comes the role of advanced life support and then his transfer to the hospital and post cardiac resuscitation so of these things most important is recognition by a, a by a common uh, citizen by common guard or a common uh, policeman ki isko cardiac arrest hua hai he must shout for help he must have ambulance number third thing he must be trained in bls if he is not trained in bls see uh, uh, and then early defibrillation in fact us may or uh, if, if you go to the airports they have already implanted the uh, this device which is called as aicd uh, which is called as a AC, uh, yes, automatic yes. Uh, uh, automatic external defibrillators uh, yes. automatic external defibrillators so aed is called as aed automatic external defibrillators so these are available they, they will once you put it on the patient they will sense whether the rhythm is shockable whether we can cardiovert the patient whether the patient can be revived so and defibrillation is the most basic most important step to revive a patient of sudden cardiac death so we must educate the community to to diagnose sudden cardiac death we must train them in bls we must train them how to use an aed uh, aed external uh, external automatic defibrillator and then their transport then shorting for the ambulance so all the points are important in managing uh, sudden cardiac death it is not doctor is not available everywhere you are not available everywhere your port is icu is not available everywhere so the common man should know how to diagnose how to do a pls how to inform the ambulance use an or how to use an aed and then then the hospital people will take care post cardiac arrest no thank you doctor you very informative jo agar main summarize karu to i agree with you airports pe aed devices lagi hoti hain और अगर अगर हम सिंगापुर का एग्जाम्पल लें या यूएस का एग्जाम्पल लें तो वहाँ ट्वेल्थ क्लास के करिकुलम में ही एक ले रेस्क्यू सीपीआर करके एक चीज आती है भाई आप डॉक्टर नहीं भी हैं तो भी आप किसी की जान कैसे बचा सकते हैं देखिए डॉक्टर हर जगह नहीं हो सकता लेकिन कोई भी आम आदमी को अगर थोड़ा सा भी बेसिक ऑफ लाइफ सपोर्ट जैसे डॉक्टर अनुराग ने बोला वो आता है तो आप कभी ना कभी अगर ऐसी सिचुएशन आपके सामने आए अगर आप अपने जीवन में एक लाइफ भी बचा पाए सो इट इज इट इज वर्थ इट सो डॉक्टर राग बिफोर आई सेंड क्लोज द एफ बी सेशन एक आपसे आखिरी कमेंट कि आप हमारे कम्युनिटी को और अपने जनरल फिजिशियंस जी को क्या एडवाइस देना चाहेंगे रिगार्डिंग सडन कार्डिक डेथ Uh, uh, thank you, Sandeep. At the, uh, I must thank the uh, your uh, system to to uh, give us the opportunity to be here. And uh, regarding the message, the message you have already given. See, uh, if we have history, if we have uh, studying, we are we are studying Akbar, Shah Jahan, which we are not concerned. Why should why don't we study BLS and ACLS? See, when we did our MBBS, in fact, you were with me only. You were not trained in BLS. We didn't know uh, ACLS. we didn't know how to give compressions now the system has evolved and if this can be uh, included even in, in college uh, colleges and if if you, uh, with uh, your enext icu and with the uh, reach you have in the community 
<coughs> we can educate people for this PLS. In fact, we have kept a program. This World Art Day, they're going to teach uh, the police people this uh, BLS. And uh, so we are uh, trying to get mannequins and we are going to teach the community and especially the police people in the Sonipat area how to do a, a cardiac uh, compressions and how to uh, do a BLS. So if we can uh, just just by propagating these three messages, everybody should know PLS. Everybody should know cardiac compressions. Everybody should know how to inform the ambulance. And everybody should know the nearest ambulance and the hospital. We can save a lot of people. We can save a lot of people. The incidence is not less. In fact, in US, they say teen lakh log, teen se saale teen lakh log, saale kaise death se har saal mar jate hain, which is a quite a big number. Saale teen lakh log agar US me bhar rahe hain, this this is a big disease. It's a big disease. Or unexpected, it's a huge loss to the community, to the family as well. So, if I extrapolate the US ke data, ko, sir, extrapolate karo, US ki population is 33 crore, and our 130 crore, so we are 4 times. So, agar hum, to that means hum, our cardiac death, sudden cardiac death would be nearly 10 to 12 lakhs every year. Per year, per year, Sandeep. But then, year. then the other thing which is to be taken in, into account, we are we are more uh, prone to have mm. coronary disease so the risk this risk factor is more in uh, in, in us so ye 10 12 lakh se nahi hai i don't have the data but at least 12 15 lakh ke upar hoga if we if we take this one so they say 10 to 12% of the general population of the general population are exposed to sudden death and then this is the first event aapko pata bhi nahi hoga ki aapko heart disease hai suddenly you will die suddenly yes. you will die that's the catch. That is the importance of this session. That you must realize that Sunny Girl Death is. Abhi wo we heard of KK. KK was a singer. He died suddenly. Yeah. Abhi you just quoting Raju Shrivastav. So they are young people. They are not. They are not under, under any kind of stress. Ab jo dunya ko hazara hai, wo hi Sunny Girl Death se mar raha hai. So you you just you can expect anything from anybody. No, no. Thank you very much, sir, Doctor Anurag. It was really informative and thankful. Uh, with this, we will close our FB session. Uh, maybe we will be able to invite Dr. Anurag again for another session of cardiovascular diseases prevention. It will be an honor, Sandeep. It will be an honor. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. Again, please take a good night and thanks everyone for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir.